The mayor of Philadelphia has decided that protecting illegal aliens is worth putting his city's citizens at risk. The Preliminary Arraignment Reporting System, or PARS, is a collaboration between ICE and local governments that ICE uses to track when illegal immigrants have been arrested for crimes. But now Mayor Jim Kenney is kowtowing to activists and ending Philadelphia's PARS agreement with ICE for the express purpose of protecting illegal immigrants, even criminal illegals, from capture and deportation. Cesar Vargas is a lawyer and illegal immigrant. He joins us on the set tonight. Cesar, thank you for coming on. Thank you so much for having me. So tell me why the mayor of Philadelphia is working to protect foreign nationals accused of crimes, but not American citizens. How does this help the American citizens of Philadelphia? Well, to talk about democracy, the people of Philadelphia elected the mayor. People who were either born here or are U.S. citizens supported the mayor and still support the mayor's decision to abolish ICE, uh, the ability to cut that tie between ICE. So this is the, pe the wishes of, the, of Philadelphia. So you're and saying, not, wait, hold not. on, whoa, whoa, whoa. So by that, okay, so you're saying that any elected official, because he was elected, by definition, all of his decisions have the support of the people. So by that standard, Donald Trump... His position on illegal immigration is the will of the people of the United States. So how dare you question it? Well, there's difference, right? We have the oh, electoral college a and, the and the popular vote. No, no, he Donald was, Trump on, he was won elected. by technicality, and you want to kind of say by the hold by on, Russian hold on. help. Let me, let, let me just so say, hold on, we we slow down, slow down. As an American, let me explain our system to you. I know that you're here illegally. As an American, I will tell you that he won under the rules that we have that were set out in our founding documents. Now, you may not like them, but those were the rules. So he is our democratically elected president. And your point now is that once you're elected, no one can complain about what you do because, as you put it, democracy. And you have the right to complain. And I think everyone has the okay. right to so challenge let, let, the let's, decision. Let's, let's, and okay. I think that's so what democracy is. So you made a silly is. point. I destroyed it. Let's get to the real meat of this debate, which is like, how actually does it help the citizens, whether they voted for him or not? Well, it's In still Philadelphia, how does it help allowing criminals to go unpunished or to escape federal law enforcement? How does that benefit the Philadelphians? Well, there's two systems, right? The, the preliminary arraignment reporting system that we just cut tie, right? That essentially prevented ICE from going into the system that, you know, immigration's day-to-day -day interaction. So if they go to a party with a bunch of foolish teenagers and they go call police and they arrest a teenager, that's a system they're going to cut off. Like, ICE doesn't need to get involved in that. The system, if someone gets arrested for a violent crime, they still go through uh, FBI and Department of Homeland Security fingerprints. So violent criminals, people who threaten us harm, will still be going through a system, will still get background, and ICE still has this information. To two separate systems, people of Philadelphia will still be protected. ICE but will less, not target but, but, but the first teenager oh, or someone so who they, just They won't fight. enforce federal law in Philadelphia. So that's a federal law. By the way, voted for under the system that you lauded when you first sat down, our democracy. People voted for those laws, and you're now saying that it's immoral to enforce them. So I guess I'm the one who believes in democracy, not you. But by your standard, the state of New York has an assault weapons ban. Lots of towns are against that. Should local sheriffs say, I'm not for the ban, I'm not going to refer violators of the ban to the feds or to the state. Would that be okay with you? Well, we already have some, some counties in upstate or across the country who are pushing against gun laws, right? Don't we have... No, people, we, don't have we, any, have, we don't have any we have town... We have plenty of times no, we where don't. The, your side resists and people... No, no. This we, is democracy, We right? actually... People, People no. resist in terms of the policies that they disagree with. What, and they, that's okay. what they don't do is encourage the violation of law because that's not democracy, that's anarchy, okay? So you know as well as I that if there was a town in New York that's like, we're just not obeying your gun laws, how's that sound? That you'd be outraged, and I actually wouldn't like it either because I kind of believe in the law. So why is this different? Because one is fashionable and helps the Democratic Party and the other's not, right? Well, listen, I think, you know, when it comes to the resist movement, this is, we have seen this across the country, whether it's Republican or Democrat, whether it's liberal or conservative, everyone has the right to resist. And that's what democracy is, right? So we're not debating about, we're not debating on, about so fashion not laws. You've, you've, we're we're you've debating of whether or not I should democracy. violate people's constitutional rights. So, and I think that's what's at stake at this moment. Oh, okay, so deporting someone here illegally is violating his constitutional right. That's so insane, I'm not even sure I can. <laughs> I, very quickly, I just want to ask you this. So there are now calls on the left to make health care universal, universal Medicaid. This country is tens of trillions in debt. Should we extend those benefits to illegal aliens? And if so, why? Well, I think it goes to the concept of citizenship, right? As a nation, we have matured from only free uh, landowner white people to now 
Don't hit me with, oh, don't hit me with the race right? crap. No, no, okay? no. But we're talking, you know, you we're talking about right. women, right? We're talking as about women. As a citizen of a right? country controlled so, by the conquistadors, don't question. lecture me about I believe, that not only in healthcare, but I believe that we should open the franchise, the right to vote to everyone, because the unique. Including the, you. The unique power You're here of illegally. American democracy, democracy is not a constitution, but it's the unique experiment <laughs> that we all, all are equal. That I is what say, American I democracy say, is all you, about. I don't know what chutzpah is in Spanish, but for you sitting here illegally, and we're not reporting you or having you like taken out by force. And you know, actually, Hold I on. got a green You're, card now. You're and telling. You know that's a whole different Well, you do have a green card. Yeah. Okay. And I didn't do it the right way. I did it the American job. way. No, but I'm, that's for a different segment. You're telling me that the essence of our country is not our constitution, it's letting illegals vote. And I have to absolutely. nod and bow about it. Yeah, well, that's absolutely right, Caesar. <laughs> it's, about, it's about us truly embracing that everyone can be an American. Everyone. Regardless of whether you're born. And, and, and regardless of your So no matter status. where you're from, you have a right to come here, vote in our elections, get free stuff. We built this awesome country, and now everyone from around the world just gets to take whatever they want because Illegal why? Immigrants because built this why? Nation, right? No, they Illegal. didn't. No, that's, actually, they did didn't. Christopher Columbus have. Uh, citizenship. When well, he, he didn't abroad. build the country, by the way. Who did? <laughs> Immigrants <laughs> did, right? Right. No, actually, Americans did. And that's we the fundamental lie. No, you're not, actually. You're a Mexican citizen, I American. believe. It's right here. A Mexican American. And that's uh -huh. the pride of this great. You place. know what? You are. You're bold. I will say that. I kind of admire it in a way. Oh, Caesar, appreciate. great to Thank see you. Thank you so much for having me again. We finally have the FBI's FISA application targeting Carter Page. Much of it was redacted to about 20 pages. What's in those 20 pages? We'll investigate that coming up. Also, Greg Gutfeld is here exposing New York Mayor Bill de Blasio's latest disaster. Gutfeld, as a New York resident, very familiar with life under de Blasio. Coming up. Not exaggerating, on Saturday, Democratic Mayor Libby Schaff issued a press release warning locals that, based on several of her sources, she believed ICE, the Federal Immigration Administration, was about to launch immigration raids in the city of Oakland. The press release advised illegal residents to, quote, prepare, not panic, and to advise them that business owners and schools were not allowed to assist ICE. Cesar Vargas is an illegal immigrant. He works as a lawyer in New York City, and he joins us tonight. Mr. Vargas, thanks for coming on. Tucker, thank you so much for having me. So um, how can a state actively work against federal law? Isn't that kind of how we had a civil war? Well, what's the problem? Do we have a problem that a local city is protecting its, its residents, a local city is pushing against the overbearing power of the federal government. You know, the mayor is not saying, let's protect the rapists, let's protect the child molesters. The, the mayor is simply saying, we're going to protect our residents, regardless of their immigration status. We're going to okay, protect but, our hardworking but you, wait, residents hold on, hold on. to make you're, sure they you're, you're, to, the, to the city. Let me, just, let me just be clear. I'm not attacking any of the so-called DACA recipients, people here illegally. Personally, I don't know them. Maybe some are bad people. Maybe they're all great people. They're but the point people. is they're here illegally in violation of federal law. California is a state. You can't, the state of California is not allowed to actively subvert federal law. Then it's not really acting in concert with the other 49 states. That's an active insurrection. How, am I missing something? Well, the Constitution does provide basic rights, but the also Constitution allows the states to create more rights for their residents. Right no. here, we're okay, seeing the to, city to, no, of I know, Oakland look, I know you say you're a lawyer, but, its residents and okay. not necessarily saying we're going to detain you, we're going to deport you. If you're working hard, you can stay here. Anyone no, no, who's committed a crime, okay. I can still operate in no, but Oakland so now you're and getting into the, the Look, now you're getting into what we want to be true. I'm just saying what is true. Here's what is true as of now, and until Congress acts, it's true. going to be true. No, the Constitution has been interpreted by the Supreme Court for more than 200 years to say that states cannot act against federal law. That is one of the Absolutely. oldest precepts in American law. And if you say you're a lawyer, I'm sure you know that. So the point I'm making is this. These people are here illegally. Congress can change that. They can legalize them if they want. But right now, their presence is in violation of federal law. The mayor of an American city is saying you may not participate with federal law enforcement. You have to oppose federal law. That is not workable. You can't have that. That is an act of insurrection against the federal government. Do you, do you see this? Do you care? Well, do you know what because, I mean? Just because it's federal law doesn't mean it's, it's right, doesn't mean it's constitutional. The Supreme Court has ruled, and federal courts have ruled, that one, the president does not have the authority to use racial discrimination to target immigrants. One, it's unconstitutional for the president to target sanctuary cities by no, no, defunding you're, their you're, government. No, you're you're and actually also missing. The federal, no, the federal neither one of them. Hold against, on. I, against I, I'm sorry, I can't let search you. And seizures from uh, ICE targeting immigrants. Look, I don't want to check your bar license or something. But, protects immigrants okay. as well. Okay. 
the federal government has a right to enforce federal law. Federal immigration yes. law has not been overturned by the Supreme Court. Please don't make up facts on the show. Those laws are still enforced. And the federal government, by definition, has a law, has a right to enforce them. The states do not have a right to subvert them. There's no argument about that. So what you're seeing is something that cannot stand. I mean, the federal government in previous decades has sent federal troops into states when they do stuff like this. So do you understand the fire that they're playing with? Or is it just, it's cool because you think illegals should be able to stay here? No, that I seems just to think, be your core I just, position. I just think that throughout the judiciary history, we have shown that the states and the cities are the laboratory of democracy. The states have such power to do much more than the federal government has done. And what we're seeing here is the city saying, we're going to push it back against our overbearing government. We have done that. The king You're getting used your to bumper stickers in the colonial that's war. Like, and that's why we had, colonial you have, you, okay, you know, and look at this. I'm sorry, we I'm not allowing against, you to teach American history on my show because you, know, you, you failed, of course. the rights of, okay, you, the of colonists. Okay, and that's why right, we had a colonial right, war. We had right, a revolution yeah, okay. because we pushed against a tire. We pushed against unlawful right, okay. law I mean, no offense, that violated but I, the rights of our people. I wish you wouldn't say we. Hold on. Since you're not a citizen, actually, so you don't get to say we. I'm sorry, you just don't. I'm an American. Citizenship does not make me an American. And it I does. think values and I don't make you what that, it means to be an American. I don't know who told you that that's... No, actually, you become an American when you become an American citizen. That's the definition of it. I'm not attacking you as a person. I'm sure no, you're a great course, person. I'm sure you're smart. We're just different in that I'm an American and you're not. And you're that's American just a legal citizen. question. We're both Americans, though. Right. No, that's not true. But let me ask you this, though. So Oakland's got all these other problems. And I'm not staying up late at night worried about whether illegal aliens get arrested in Oakland, okay? I'm not, to be honest. What I'm really worried about, though, is the people who run Oakland care more about people there illegally than they care about the thousands of homeless that live on their streets, the hundreds of homeless children. The U.N. went to Oakland and said, this is cruelty, what you're doing to your homeless. And yet they're spending time and money on behalf of people who aren't even allowed to be here. Do you see a kind of weird priority in that? Well, I don't see a weirdness that the city of Oakland is protecting all its residents regardless of the immigration status. What we're seeing now, if you want to talk about homeless people, well, I'm talking about the Trump uh, tax reform that's benefiting the wealthy and the 1% and give them more tax break. Those, that tax break should go into helping those homeless people. Should I'm, be going I'm sorry. Into I mean, that's so silly. I'm beginning to think I don't think you should become a citizen. I mean, no offense or anything. It's not, <laughs> I would be happy to have dinner with you, but Let's that's go just for that's dinner not a nice a, Mexican restaurant. Not a... Very smart point. Caesar, thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you so it. much, Tucker, for having me. The Democrats' answer to the Nunes memo is out. What is in it? It's confusing, but we're going to explain it for you next.